بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We are so honored and lucky to have Sheikh Muhammad Yahya Nanawi again to uh, give us more advices and teach us more about our deen and about uh, living in, in our the society that we're in to make sure that we we adhere to the Islamic values. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. khair, Sheikh Abdul Mahsin Ustad. Akramakum Allah. Jazakallah khair. Ma qasartum. Assalamu alaikum. So, Sheikh, um, one thing um, I heard many discussions about it. It's, it's uh, around hijab. So um, there is no doubt that Quran made hijab fard or mandatory. Yet um, there are sisters that adhere more to their uh, home culture culture than uh, the Quran. So she would say, um, like if you ask her, why, why are you not, you're Muslim? We know that because you said the salam alaikum or whatever. But, or maybe she's in the mosque even. But she's not wearing hijab. Is there, a, is there a reason for that? She would say, I am from country so and so and we don't wear hijab there. You say, what about Quran? What about Sunnah? <coughs> it's like a dead end. You can't have that kind of discussions with them. Of course, it's better to uh, address it at a higher scale, like in this this platform. So, what? How how can we uh, help our sisters? You know, in this case. <laughs> we all understand that number one, not just the Quran stated it, but the understanding of the Ummah up until now. يعني علماء الأمة from the beginning up until now the bulk and the uh, the علماء the scholars of the Ummah who understood the text are all on in agreement on the faradiyya of al-hijab everybody nobody said يعني from the علماء of the Ummah now you'll find you'll find people who say well we don't really want to use the understanding of the علماء of the Ummah we understand the Quran directly Without and those people usually lack the very basic fundamentals in the Arabic language, al usul wa ulum sunnah. Anyway, uh, and and let alone, yani of 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 ulum al balagha wal maani wal badi' etc. etc. So anyway, uh, the issue of hijab, first of all, is an issue of modesty. Yani, al hijab al hin is not the issue that I put hijab. And that hijab attracts all kind of attention. The point of hijab is that it actually does not display uh, th that woman for all people to see. No. Yani, in Islam, we do not value women based on how much she reveals of her body. Let me repeat that again because it's important. Please. Islam in Islam, men and women are very dignified. We created you into males and females. That means we dignified you. Therefore, the value of women in Islam is not based on how much she reveals of her body. That's not where the value is. The value is in her mind, in her heart, in her positive contribution. That's her value. Absolutely. All right. But sometimes trends influence people. And they might think that the trends dictate value. The trends don't dictate mm. value. You are valuable not because of how you dress. You are valuable because of your mind, your heart, and your positive contribution. If your heart is good, your mind is positive, and you contribute positively to, to society, musahama ijabiyya, you are valuable. Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum, irrespective whether you're male or female. So, uh, it, it's very important that we uh, understand that so we don't, fall into just following any trend that's out there be yourself and you would rather people yani as if i may borrow this state you would rather people hate you for what you for who you are 
than love you for who you are not. But people, once you introduce yourself and do good to them, they should not really hate you Absolutely. for who you are. Only the ignorance would. And for those people, you don't want, you don't want to be friends Absolutely. necessarily. Exactly. Therefore, the issue of hijab obviously, obviously has to be, I mean, let me take you to the one hadith al Tabarani, rahimahullah, Imam al Tabarani narrates in his Al uh, Kabir, if my memory serves me best. Well, it's not, يعني, لا جيد, let me say. Uh, hadith al Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib, at the beginning of Islam, beginning, there was four or five people Muslims. That's, that's it. Uh, one of the people of the from the tribe of Kinda, businessman, came to Mecca to do business. And Mecca was the business center. Well, Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, Ammun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was a businessman, he used to trade. For this man from Kinda came and he uh, saw Al Abbas, he said, I came around, he eventually became Muslim. He said, I came around. Dhuhr time, zenith. Ma dhuhr, yani the, 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 the sun almost in the middle of the sky. I am sitting with Al Abbas. Well, Al Abbas's shop was there overlooking the Kaaba right away, right in front of the Kaaba, and yani close. He said, at the time of zenith, when the sun came to the middle of the sky, all of a sudden I see a man comes towards the Kaaba, stands, and starts doing something which appears like praying. On his right, he says, وَعَلَى يَمِينِهِ صَبِي He follows what he does. وَخَلْفَهُمَ مْرَأَةٌ سَتَرَتْ مَحَاسِنَهَا look, look, look how he describes. He says, and behind them, a woman who covered her areas of beauty, which tells you, even back then, they may have not covered their areas mm -hmm. of beauty. Like in this woman, Satarat huh? Mahasina, the Rawi says, she, she covered her areas of beauty and she's also following them in the same motions of that prayer. Fasa'altu al Abbas, I asked al Abbas, what is this? Who is this? Qala hadha ibn akhi Muhammad. This is my nephew Muhammad. Yaz'umu annahu nabiyun mursal. He claims that he is a prophet who has revealed the message. وَعَلَى يَمِينِي هَذَا بْنُ أَخِي عَلِي بْنَ أَبِي طَالِبْ This is Ali, the young, young ten-year-old. وَتِلْكَ مَرَأَتُهُ خَدِيجَ بِنْتُ خُوَيْلِدْ This is his wife Khadija. The point is, even from that time, that the point of hijab was covering the areas of beauty. Because your value is not, as a woman, is not based on how much you reveal of your body to people. Islam doesn't take you, doesn't tell you, take care of yourself, take care of your body, take care of your hair, take care, be the best of the best. But your value is not based on looks. And definitely, we want, to, does Islam want you to have good looks? Please have good looks. But your value is not based on revealing those looks. Your value is based on your uh, intrinsic inherent dignity as a creation of the Creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore, even for those sisters who have hijab, the point of hijab is not to attract attention of looker of onlookers. The point of hijab is modesty. Absolutely. Modesty is the whole point. Therefore, you see in Quran al-Kareem about uh, the daughters of Shu'ib allegedly, right? When Sayyidina Musa alayhi salatu was salam al-Kareem after he escaped from Pharaoh al Laim, he went to Madian. When he went to Madian, he saw two young women. Uh, they're trying to fetch some water. فَسَقَى لَهُمَا ثُمَّ تَوَلَّى إِلَى الظِّلِّ قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي لِمَا أَنزَلْتَ إِلَيَّ مِنْ خَيْرًا فَقِيرٌ Next day she comes, Allah says, جَاءَتْهُ إِحْدَاهُمَا تَمْشِي عَلَى اسْتِحْيَاء one of these two women he gave water to the day before she came back to him and Quran says Tamshi al she's walking in a modest way even the walk is a modest walk you can walk arrogantly you can walk modestly la tamshi fil ardi maraha tamshi al istihya tamshi la you can stop here qalat inna abi yad'uk 
She told him what? My father is calling you. See, she didn't give her give him her number. Or text me. Call me. No. You are interested? My father is asking you to come to our house. Speak to him. If you're interested, that's genuine interest. But the ayah tells you what? She's walk, even her walk is a walk of hijab. You can stop here, do walk here. She spoke with haya. She spoke with modesty. So you walk a walk of modesty and you talk a talk of modesty and you dressed a modesty. That's hijab. Subhanallah. MashaAllah. At Quran. Absolutely. Um, just two things on around this, this topic. Um, there are sisters that wear hijab. Zamallah khair yani for that. However, with a full makeup and very tight clothing, clothes that shows the details of the body. So is this hijab or is this something else? Well, that's what we said. Yani the idea of hijab and yahjuba a'ayun al-nazirin. And tashtur al-mahasin, like that was said about our mother Khadija, mm -hmm. she covered her areas of beauty, not the revealed her areas of beauty. That, that's no longer hijab. Exactly. exactly. It becomes a fashion show. Absolutely. And then the other type that wears hijab when around Muslims, but when they're not, they do not wear hijab. <coughs> do we have a name for those? Wallahi, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We, we don't, it's not about name. As Allah says, وَأْمَرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ وَاسْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا Command your family to pray and be patient on them. We want to tell people, look, the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, the way of the Quran, the way of the daughters of Shu'aib that we mentioned, that's the modest way, that's the right way, that's the most balanced way. Uh, and we would like you to see the beauties in the ways of the Prophet ﷺ. Allah 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 Allah. May Allah benefit all of communities, Muslim communities in America and everywhere. Uh, these topics that we so far discussed with you, Sheikh, are very important, very sensitive. Right, and um, that community really needed this guidance um, in order for them to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. And inshallah, inshallah will help them. Um, I know that the time is, is, is limited. So uh, we will leave, we can um, respond or correspond with, uh, with our viewers. Uh, through uh, comments, they can always put a comment with a question. We will do the best we can to uh, give the question to the Sheikh and then give the answer from him and put it, uh, respond to the comment. Um, otherwise, uh, inshallah, we will meet again uh, in the near future. Jazakallah khair, ya Sheikh. Jazakallah khair, Salaam Mahsan, for, for inviting me. Uh, it's an honor for us, ya Sheikh. Jazakallah khair for coming. With that, we conclude our show today and Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.